Hi YouTube, so sorry I haven't been on for ages, I've just had loads going on what we're getting ready for university and work and stuff. But uh, I came across some Facebook questionnaires the other day about obsessions and collections and what we've done, what we used to collect, what we collect now, what we obsess over. So I thought I'd share a few of my like things that I collect or obsess over. Firstly, this might not be too weird. But I collect guitar picks, so like wherever I go, if I go into a guitar shop, I have to try and get a pick. This is like only a few of what I've got. Uh, Simpsons one there. That's probably one of my favourites. I've got loads, but I'm not showing you them all at the minute. Something I collected when I was younger, which I was probably a little bit embarrassed about and only really did it because other members of my family did, was the popular Thai Beanie Babies. So yeah, did anybody else ever collect any of these little critters? Like, uh, I suppose it was kind of girly, but that was kind of like my thing that I wanted to try and get, because I thought they'd be worth something now, but if you look on eBay, they'll look worth diddly squat. I always remember thinking that uh, one day I was going to get the Royal Blue Peanut, which if you collected them, then you'd know that he was like the rarest, but obviously not rich, then you're not going to get him. He's like still going for like, thousands and thousands of pounds on eBay and whatnot, but the crap ones that I've got are all going for like 50p. So yeah, collecting sometimes don't pay off, but it was fun at the time. Something weird that I used to collect at school was, uh, do you remember using Parker pens and the refillable cartridges that used to have ink balls inside? Well, my fountain pen used to screw off at the top, so you had somewhere where you could store the ink balls and me and some of my other geeky friends used to compete so you could get the most. So that was something weird that we did at school. Was there anything that you did? I don't really know whether this is sad or really cool but at the minute I found these really interesting. Vinylmation, this is a 9 inch London exclusive so I'm keeping him in his box because he's quite cool. Uh, I've also got Jesse, who I weren't too impressed with, the old hag from Snow White, and the bad thing about having like uh, boxes where you don't know exactly what you're going to get inside is I got two Madam Mims. Now I like Madam Mims; she's a good character from Sword in the Stone, but I don't want to. An eight pound for a box where you don't know what you're getting is quite extortionate, I think. But I really like Disney. I don't know whether that's sad or girly or what, but. Yeah, it's one of my things that I like. I, I know all the songs, I think it's fun. Uh, does anybody else out there collect these? Because I think they're quite fun and they're really colourful and I don't think they'll ever go... You'll always find a room in your house that you can pop them and they won't look out of place. At least that's what I'm telling myself anyway. I'd love to get the Star Wars set. Uh, there's like a rare Obi-Wan Kenobi chaser that's like translucent, so it's like a, a super chaser. He's going for like £300 on eBay at the minute, I'm not going to get him, but uh, if ever I got him in like a blind box then I would be over the moon, because he just looks so cool. Sea Monkey update, uh, I think they've kind of like died, the, the tank got these black dots inside which kind of made me question it, so I searched it on the internet and apparently I was supposed to get some water cleansing magic stuff but to be fair that's in America and by the time it got here they'd probably be dead anyway so yeah sorry but our pets are, are dead there's like two that I can still see so I'm still feeding them in the hope that these black dots disappear but I'm not holding out much hope sorry this has been quick but I haven't got much time I'm working on another video that I've got quite a few clips already done for which is like the difference between America and England in terms of schooling. So it's a little bit more fun, funny, whatever. So yeah, this video basically, I've got a name for each video. Uh, it's been about collecting and obsessing, so if you've got any collections or obsessions that you've got then I'm quite interested in seeing them below. I've got a degree in psychology so I'm interested in crap like that. Uh, I don't know whether anybody's interested in mine, but hey, you've just seen it. so. 
yeah, thank you. I'm going to worry soon, so maybe I'll be able to post some when I'm in my dorm. But maybe Warwick lectures will be more taxing than more Bramptons, and I won't have time. So yeah, but there will be one up soon. Hopefully you'll enjoy it because I put uh, quite a lot of time and effort into the new one that you're going to see. Not like this, this has just been a quick 10 minute one but I promised you one Friday. So yeah, 